Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Welcome back if you have been here before. If you haven't, welcome for the first time. Um, I just ran across this little issue, so I figured I'd make it a little simpler for anybody coming along after me, searching, trying to find the info. Basically what I have here is a Rich Solar or Renogy or SRNE, who I believe manufactures all these. 40 amp controller um, essentially I was trying to uh, connect the Bluetooth and that's where I noticed the uh, problem and as you can see this one takes the BT-1 which is actually branded as Renogy uh, it's just a few dollars cheaper than the actual branded Rich Solar but they all work the same um, I believe the newer version uses the BT-2 and in case you're just looking for the uh, app password that's it right there I had to search around and try to find what that was so I'll show you the setup in just a second so basically it just plugs into a uh, RS-232 which is an RJ-12 six contact port on the bottom there and I just screwed it to the wall and then it gives you a uh, Bluetooth remote access and gives you additional settings options so the main thing I needed was additional settings on lithium batteries to disable the boost or shorten the boost duration which is the length of time the controller sits in the boost mode which is normally called absorption I believe um, in the lithium settings you can't change that it's set at two hours which is too long so it's recommended to have that at 10 minutes the only way you can do it as far as I can tell is from the app and from the settings um, so first thing I found out was uh, you got to download the app obviously uh, this is the Renogy BT app which apparently is the old one and the new one is Renogy DC home which does show a little bit more info and it's a little bit more inclusive and everything but I can't show it to you on this device because it's not listed as an app for it so I'll show you this old version and uh, so essentially what you want to do first once you get it connected hit plus add device and it should show up obviously you gotta install the app and all that and uh, you have to enable the location and Bluetooth allow it to access files and location and all that stuff it's just the way Android is these days uh, probably iPhone devices also uh, basically it's just in the settings and stuff it's all tied in so you gotta give it all that access I don't like it either but what do you do so uh, find your device it'll usually be listed under uh, BT something I renamed mine as Rich 40 and then just hit confirm so I'm already connected so obviously it's already there then uh, if you want to change any settings go up here to plus administrator and this is where the problem is you need the password there's the password enter the password in there and then you'll be able to uh, change things. Now you can change it. Um, change password. Sorry. All the way down. Change password. Type in the old. Type in the new. Hit confirm. And it should change it. I did already. Um, 
I think it only does it on the device allowing this app to actually change it. I don't think it actually changes it on the controller, but it's hard to know for sure. So uh, it, it'll basically give you, you know, all the stats if you want uh, to change the settings, which most of us, that's what we want to do. This is pretty much how you're going to do it. And you're going to want it to read and you'll get that little Chinese or whatever. And it should read successfully. So now you can go in there and change your settings. Mine specifically is boost charge time right there. I change it to 10. It's normally set to 120. That's what I really needed. Otherwise, uh, everything else is pretty much the same. Then, once you change them and everything, hit set. And it'll say, please get administrator privileges if you haven't put the password in. Okay. So, um, that's primarily what I wanted to show you guys. And uh, hopefully you guys can all figure out the rest. Sorry for the uh, wavy lines on here. It's just the way uh, the screens work when you're recording another screen, LEDs, all that kind of stuff. Um, hopefully it's not too bad for you. But anyway, hope it helped you. Let me know in the comments if there's something else you need or uh, you want to see. Uh, in the, like I said, the other app is DC Renogy DC Home. And there's a little bit more to it. It's just not available on this device. So um, that one, you don't need the app password, apparently. It doesn't require it. So probably programmed in there automatically. So you don't have to screw with it. They probably generate a whole bunch of phone calls, and that's why they kind of quit with the password. But anyway, hope it helped you. Thanks. See ya.